This tutorial will acquaint you with how to locate the official classification code number assigned to each industry by the U.S. Census Bureau. These codes allow you to search for industry data, including imports and exports, the number of businesses in an industry or industrial subsector, gross revenues, and rates at which an industry is expanding or contracting. The U.S. Census Bureau offers a variety of business and industry information. One of the databases is the North American Industry Classification System, NAICS, known as NAICS. To find an industry code, click here. Various business and industry sectors are broadly defined and given a two-digit code. These are further broken down into subsectors. Under Manufacturing, we have food, animal, grain, so on and so forth. I'm interested in the clothing industry. The apparel industry is given the classification 315, with the various subsectors listed below with additional numbers. By clicking on this number, we get a brief overview of what is involved in this sector. To find more information about apparel manufacturing, click on Business and run your search from here. At this point, you can click on the number and start to find information. This looks good. Selected charts are in an industry snapshot. Total shipments in 2002, with numbers given in millions of dollars. In 2007, seven years later, it's almost half. However, shipments per employee have gone up from $130,000 to $145,000. The number of apparel manufacturing establishments in 2002 was 13,015. In 2007, five years later, that number had dropped to 7,243. The value of shipments per year is $44.5 billion. Broken down by state, these are the number of establishments in California, New York, North Carolina, and so forth, listed according to the value of their shipments, the most valuable to the least. U.S. International Trade Statistics. Change this to World. And hit Go. These values are in thousands of dollars. So we exported $341 million. We imported $5 billion. This was the month of February. To find out how many people worked in this sector, click here. This information breaks the workforce down by state, county, and metro area. This site is difficult to use, and the only way you're going to be able to find information effectively is by spending time getting to learn how it works. Thank you very much. Have a great day.